All right, so now I just want to strengthen up some of the characteristics of the skull and the fact that, you know, right here in this area, it looks really sharp to me compared to my model, which is not so sharp. So those things, you know, I just do as usually as I go along. I don't take any kind of method or madness to it. I try to do all the the low-res stuff first and then all the high-res stuff, but sometimes you have to kind of back up. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of cheek in there. And I guess this is where style meets something. Anatomically correct corresponding to style. I don't think I'm shooting for anatomically correct. I think I'm more shooting for aesthetically pleasing. Okay. Just a slight little pinch on that, maybe. Pinch is really good for just strengthening up corners. Then just a little bit of flatten to kind of blend it all together. You can see when I'm using flatten and I add, like if I add just a little bit to this, if I go in here and just add a little bit, not much. Like that. And then I do use flatten, it leaves a texture behind that is better looking than just that flat look. Just got to be very careful about what angle you go at and take it slow. There we go. So now it's got just a little bit of texture in there. There's another brush, it's called Polish. Polish helps out. Polish, you can just swerve all over the place and it works quite well. I think I'll press this ridge back just a little bit. And then flatten it out. Don't want to get too monkey like though, so there. At the risk of destroying any kind of structure, I like it the way it is. Okay, well, let's fix that bottom jaw, shall we? 
Now, when you hop back in, you hop back out. Don't don't worry about that. Remember, you can't preview sculpt going across too well. So by jumping into the other one, it lowers it just a little bit. And that's the difference between the preview and everything else. So if I hopped back into Sculpt, you see all the detail. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go back to object mode, grab the object to here, and go into sculpt mode. Okay, in this case, I'm just adding some stuff right in here. And I'm just kind of, let's turn it off that wireframe. It's a little hard to see. What I'm trying to do is get rid of the idea that this is such a, a non-organic look. This one really helps with inflate a lot so I notice these meshes are really close the wall is really close so I'm going to inflate it just a little bit so I can get in here And really, you could make a lot of change just on the skull, just a little bit. Like, if you made this a little bit more pointy in this area, it makes it look like a demon skull compared to a human skull. So just those little things. Like, if I was to take this and point it out a little bit, again, you know, slight variations of the skull, turn it into pseudo-human to demon. Again, I like to add a whole bunch of this stuff and then go into a lower res and then kind of skosh it around a little bit to form it back. So in this area, I can push that back, push that back out, then jump back up. You can move it here but it doesn't, it moves it and kind of screws it up sometimes. So you gotta be very careful. I like moving it at a lower ratio and then all the high comes along with it. Let's flatten here. Again, just that little bit and then start flattening it out. Adds all kinds of good flattened textures. Anytime I see pinch going on, I correct that right away. That stuff will screw up a normal map. Alright, now I don't want to touch this too much because I still have the teeth to do. And then the teeth and the bottom jaw have a lot of play in it. Same with the top jaw. So I'm just kind of 
adjusting some of this stuff. There we go, bottom jaw. Hop back into object mode, grab these. Take this off wireframe. Okay, now this is going to be fun. <laughs> and I'm not talking really fun. I'm talking like pseudo, it sounds like fun, fun. Because what happens is it gets so dense I can't really even see the teeth. But I can see the bottom teeth. See the, So I can kind of ad lib things here. And once in a while, I might tip it just to kind of see if I'm in the right area. So I would have area one on your number pad handy. That way you can keep jumping in and out. What I need to do is kind of draw some stuff in. So first off, I need my brush to be working quite well. Good, a little bit more of the strength. Sweet, I think that'll work out. All right, 12 minutes in, time to go to the next video.